Hi, my name is Ray Ostos and I work for the Maricopa Community Colleges. I want to share my idea with you today. A well-educated workforce is vital to the country's economic strength and social health. Uh, one of the big issues for higher education institutions, including community colleges, is the retention and graduation of minority male students. According to a 2010 report issued by the College Board, currently just 26% of African Americans 24% of Native Americans and Pacific Islanders and 18% of Hispanic Americans who are young men of color have at least an associate degree. The report also shares that nearly half of young men of color ages 15 to 24 who graduate high school will end up unemployed, incarcerated, or dead. The idea, my idea is to develop an online mentoring program for minority males across the country. Um, my goal is to assist minority male students nationwide through a system of mentoring and support. I want to provide a forum where I and other mentors can help support students. Through the Minority Male Electronic Network Mentoring Program, also known as MEN, academic information, resources, academic career guidance, and someone just to communicate with will be available through video, chat, and voice options. Uh, as a whole, mentoring has been found to have a positive impact on numerous student outcomes, including student performance, uh, intellectual and critical thinking, uh, student confidence, uh, students' abilities, uh, expectations, future aspirations, grade point average, and persistence rate. Traditional face-to-face -face mentoring rules out potential volunteers who feel they do not have the flexibility in their schedules to make the kind of commitment that mentoring requires. Traditional mentoring also makes it difficult for mentoring programs to thrive in the most underserved and isolated communities, the same communities that would benefit the most from a mentoring program. Today's Web 2.0 technologies provide many excellent opportunities for online, low-cost op mentorship opportunities. Technology examples include Skype, Facebook, Google Hangouts. Uh, mentors and mentees can also connect through conference calls and email messages. The implementation plan. I uh, would like to recruit mentors from higher education institutions from around the country. This will be done through professional organizations and educational organizations. Uh, I serve as an executive director for a national association and will use my network to reach out to institutions and recruit mentors. For year one, I want to recruit 250 minority male mentors from higher education institutions, including community colleges and universities and educational organizations. Uh, I would like to expand the mentor program by 100% each year. Uh, mentees will be recruited from community colleges and universities through their student affairs units. Uh, presentations will be made at national uh, student affairs conferences and uh, through social media to, pr to promote the program. The sustainability. Uh, the project will be sustained uh, through the creation of an online mentoring framework that will be developed in the first two years of the project. Through this experience, a how to facilitate an online mentoring program will be developed and disseminated. This online mentoring framework can be replicated, adopted, and duplicated by other groups. The uh, technology used by the, to connect the mentors and mentees is free and will continue to evolve and improve. The timeline. Uh, the pilot year for this project will begin in January 2012. Uh, in January, a central website will be developed so all the information can be shared. Uh, information about the project will be shared with professional organizations in February. And in March, a, a webinar will be held with all potential mentors where the following will be shared. Expectations, how to use the technology to communicate with your mentee, and time commitment. Uh, mentors will be selected in April, and recruitment of mentees at community colleges and universities will begin. Uh, 250 students will be selected the first year. Uh, the goal is to have a one-on-one -on -one connection to their mentor. Matches will be made in May, and mentors and mentees can begin to correspond in the summer and continue into the fall and spring semesters. An additional cohort will begin the following summer. Uh, the project will require a couple of key personnel to get it up and running, a web designer and then a part-time coordinator who will help do the matches and will help um, share information and get things up and running. Impact will be assessed by how many students remain in higher education program from semester to semester and also through student uh, feedback, surveys, and interviews that will yield key data. Um, in closing, I feel this is an important and needed project. I hope it is one that you will consider supporting. And I just want to say thank you.